everyone welcome back to my channel today is super exciting because I've rounded up three of my favorite healthy cookie recipes these are all delicious and they're mainly the classics so we have a double chocolate a chocolate chip and a snickerdoodle they're all so good I love them you're gonna love them too they're gluten-free dairy-free refined sugar-free paleo and all that jazz um, but they taste so so good so Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first cookie we are making is double chocolate. I'm using some sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate chips along with some coconut oil and I'm melting that over a double broiler or you can also melt it in the microwave. Once that's all melted, go ahead and add some vanilla as well as some either monk fruit or coconut sugar, either will work, and stir that until the sugar is nice and dissolved into our chocolate mixture. Then I'm adding in some more cacao to really enhance that chocolate flavor, some almond flour, and an egg. You can also use a flax egg in this recipe, though I do prefer using an actual egg. Once everything's in, all you have to do is stir that together so it's really easy, kind of like a one bowl double chocolate cookie recipe. Now with this dough, you are going to want to chill it too. So I would chill it for about half an hour at least until it solidifies a little bit or you can chill it overnight. I'm also going to be adding in some baking powder and I do this last because you don't want to over mix things once you've added the baking powder because baking powder is basically acts like a leavening ingredient and what makes cookies like cookies. So you don't want to mix it too much. Once you've chilled the dough, I'm just using a cookie scoop to make even balls, forming them with my hands a little bit and then pressing it down onto my cookie sheet. I have been loving using silicone mats probably for over a year now. It's just a lot easier than having to spray it and you just clean the mat and it's reusable. And then I put some chocolate chips on, bake it at 350 and you have this wonderfully double chocolate chip cookie. I also added a little bit of salt because I like salt and sweet. Next up, we're making the classic chocolate chip cookie. So I'm using cassava flour, which is from the tapioca root. Super good for digestion. Again, adding in our baking powder and our monk fruit and just mixing that together so that all our dry ingredients are kind of combined. And then I am adding in the wet. So I'm adding in some coconut oil as well as some vanilla for flavor and a little bit of molasses. Molasses is like my little secret ingredient to making the best chocolate chip cookies. You don't need a lot of it. Make sure you use black strap, not like the one you find in the baking section. You're gonna need to go to the health section and look for black strap because black strap is the one with all the health benefits. You just need a little bit and I swear it really makes cookies delicious. So then fold in the coconut oil and everything together, add in your chocolate chips and fold those in and then we are going to be making our shapes. So you can chill this dough as well. You don't have to chill this dough whereas the other one you're going to have to chill. Make that into cookie shapes, bake them, everything will be listed down below for the baking instructions and they're soft, pillowy, delicious cookies. I may or may not have one after I film this video. And then we are making Snickerdoodle, which is a great classic if you're not a big chocolate fan. So I really wanted to include one for people who don't like or can't have chocolate. So we're starting with cassava, coconut oil, and cinnamon, which really gives a nice flavor. And cinnamon is great for blood sugar. We're also adding in some vanilla and a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness. Then all you have to do is mix your dough together until you get like a nice firm cookie dough. So this one is really easy. All these cookies freeze really well. I get a lot of questions about whether I actually eat everything. I eat all the desserts I make, but my trick is that I keep them in the freezer so they keep for a long time and then you can just pop a cookie out um, when you want one. You can either freeze the dough or you can freeze them after you bake them and then either like let them out for about 15 minutes so that they're no longer frozen or I heat them up slightly in the oven. So go ahead and make your cookie shapes of your snickerdoodle cookies, bake them, and you have wonderfully delicious soft cookies. I'm definitely a soft cookie type of person because I just think they're so good. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below your favorite cookie. Like your all time, doesn't have to be healthy, um, your all time favorite cookie. I really think mine is just the classic chocolate chip. I mean, you can't go wrong with a chocolate chip cookie. Am I right guys? Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Let me know yours down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.